get ready with me to go on a date with my boyfriend inspired by the julia fox black eyeshadow look now my boyfriend doesn't really love this look but i truly truly adore this look and that's all that really matters he adores me i adore this look and that's that's all that matters right i've done this look in the past multiple times and every time i do it i kid you not it is a showstopper i feel my best and i feel like it really pops out my cheekbones and if i weren't such a scaredy cat i would personally bleach my eyebrows but i think that julia fox has really changed the game and become a true style icon especially for people like myself who like to experiment with a bit of um you know not the normal day-to-day -day looks she really has changed so much the way that we see beauty standards at least in my opinion i think that everyone else has their own opinion on julia fox but if you ask me i think she has really changed the game so there are a few tricks to this look one of them being using a concealer very very close to your skin to just kind of layer on top of your eyebrows and keep brushing it through the second one being doing that contour shape that starts at the end of your ear all the way halfway down through your cheek i think this will kind of suck your cheeks in to kind of make your cheekbones look a little bit higher and do not add blush I've noticed that when I do this in the past and I add blush, it kind of ruins the look. And you kind of want to do like Julia Fox meets Wednesday Adams. You don't want to add something that might deter to that beautiful depth between your own skin, between the prominent eyes, between the skin, the cheek, not the skin, the cheekbones. And once you add blush to it, I feel like it takes away from all that complexity. Please don't judge me, I could not find any tape and all I had was a post-it note and I really wanted that straight line on my eye. But don't judge me, don't try it at home, I am lucky I did not get a paper cup near my eye. Um, but going back to it, so the third tip that I would give is just going straight on your eyelid. Don't add any other color except for the black and don't go above your eyelid, don't hit that eyebrow bone because then it becomes too much and you kind of want it to be as sleek as possible but it doesn't necessarily have to be perfect like you'll see that for me this is not a perfect look and i feel like that's what julia fox is all about she gives stunning without necessarily being perfect and that's why i think i really love her looks I'm finishing off this makeup look with a neutral lip liner, a neutral lipstick, and a neutral gloss. Just because the main takeaway from this, I believe, or the main highlights of this makeup look would be the eyes and the cheekbones. So I don't want to overwhelm the face with anything else. And this is the final look inspired by Miss Julia Fox. And you can all tell me that this is not a sleigh. It's so simple, but the eye makeup really does everything. And I feel amazing. But that's it. Bye, everyone.